the Niners take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. They were forced to punt on their initial drive of the new season. Now they're ready to go as they begin again with a first and 10. That's complete to his receiver, Ayuk. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. At the 23, it's second and 12. A shotgun snap for Garoppolo. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. Garoppolo. It's a gain of nine yards. And just like that, it's third down. Nine-yard gain on the play. And it's third down. Garoppolo going to try and throw on third. And that will be incomplete. Every offense tells you they want to come out and start fast. That's not unusual at all. But this group, they've yet to get much roll through their first two drives. It looks like they have to give up the football again after this one. In punt formation for the 49ers. And he gets it away. A directional kick going toward the sideline. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. At their own 26-yard line. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. And coming off a one-play drive that was so deflating for the defense, what, what's their mentality? How do they rally here and stop this offense? Well, hopefully there's some determination that sets in because I, they weren't ready to go on the last one. Give all the credit to the offensive guys for getting it done, but to allow a run of that length, that's just not being prepared. So now, are they determined? Are they ready to read their keys and make the proper plays? And we'll see how determined they are. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Ten yards there to start the drive, and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. Something to watch here in week one of the season, tackle it. Because you and I both know that in the preseason, a lot of these guys don't play a whole lot. Plus, the intensity and the speed really ratchets up on opening week. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. Throw left side is complete to Reed. Five yards on the pickup, and it'll be second down. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal game. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. So the shotgun snap to Allen. Oh, a battle for it here, and this will be caught. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 41-yard line. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. So the ball moves from their own 41 to the other 41 here for first and 10. Hands it off out of the gun. Nah. And he'll take this one down to about the 40. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. One yard. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. He's not going to get me. 56. Mike, 56. Right there, right there. 56. Come on, baby. 
see what you got. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. No. Porca la troschia. That was just one of those interceptions from our perspective here. We got a good view at the 50-yard line mid-level that quarterback and receiver were not on the same page. Just by his reaction, I'm talking about the quarterback, he expected something different from his receiver, whether he expected him to break in, out, deeper, shorter. He'll determine that on the sideline. The bottom line, you can see that he thought he'd be in a different spot, except the defender was not his intended target. So he was holding from that left tackle position. Everyone tries to keep their hands inside when they're blocking ever since they liberalized the rules where you can extend them out. But sometimes they get out a little wide and they get detected grabbing some cloth. Well, here's a quick throw to start the drive complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A good pick up there of 20 yards. That's probably as simple of a throw as he'll have all game. And good for everyone. Good for his completion percentage. Good for the receptions for the receivers. But you know how they work on that. They have footballs with no laces. So as soon as you get the snap, you're just throwing the football. All right, you're not trying to find the laces and grip it a certain way. That takes time. Just get the ball and throw it. So that's how they practice it all the time now, too. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. At the 49-yard line. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. And he's going to drop this off to his fullback. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Seven yards there and a first down. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again, second and ten. Garoppolo going to hand this one to Coleman. And yeah, he'll oh. work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. He was Give him five on the carry there, and it'll set up a third down. The Niners on third down. Just one for three thus far. This will be third and five. There's Garoppolo to throw. No, get a shot. As Arizona's defense does get its job. Shot. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap. He locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well. And that one's incomplete. And did he have enough? He did. He kept it on line and managed to tuck it into the bottom right corner. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. These kickers now, it's like we take them for granted. Kicks like that used to be such a big deal, and now you just expect them to make it. Yeah, you're exactly right, and we shouldn't take them for granted. I have a theory about it. You want to hear it? Yeah. They are more athletic now than ever before. Talk about kickers. Trace their backgrounds, trace their histories. You'll find that they were big-time athletes all along, but their kicking was so prevalent that we made them specialists. Well, and now those 50-plus yarders seem easy for some reason. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. They'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A good pick up there, 26 yards. At the 49-yard line. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 49-yard line. On first down, Reed. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. 
decided to hand it off that time on the run pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady game. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. Here's a handoff out of the gun. And he'll take it inside the 40 to the 39-yard line. Call it a gain of three, but not enough to move the sticks. It'll be third and about a foot or two. to the 33, good enough for a first down. Able to get what they need to keep the drive going with a six-yard pickup on third down. in 10 now from the 33. Pronto. Gonna give this time to the tailback. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. This drive is turning into an extension. Non era il lavoro, però questa è già una cosa buona. He's becoming more like a bodybuilder's guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Hey, hey, hey. Right there. 54. Right there. Right there. 54. We own it. We own it. We got And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. That loss of three, a rare stumble on a promising drive. Here's second and 13. And now they'll throw with Allen. Yeah. And he can't hang on. That's definitely going to be what he wishes he had back. Incomplete in the end zone. Brings up the coverage was very good that time. A nice job to smother him as the ball arrived. And that ensured an incomplete pass. And it keeps six points off the board. Ninth play of the drive coming up. And certainly not an easy one on third and long. From the gun, it's Allen looking for the end zone. Back of the end zone, could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. That's a good job there, creating the contact to force the incompletion. And now since it's fourth down, that should set up a field goal situation. And a nice sigh of relief defensively to be able to hold them to three. 
And McManus able to put it through. And they push the lead up to a touchdown now at 10 to 3. So in the end, they had the ball for 10 plays, but the drive gets them three, not six. Is it okay if I give credit to both sides on this one? Absolutely. All right, let's start defensively. They hung in there. 10 play drive, but they stiffened when they got close to the goal line. They made a kick a field goal for the offense. 10 play drive. They might be a little disappointed they got a field goal, but they moved the ball down the field with dispatch and came away with points their own 23-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And it's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to the huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. It's a six-yard run. Leaves him with about a foot or so here still to go to hit the marker with third down coming up. They'll try and run for it here. It's Coleman. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. He'll get a dozen there, and it's a first down, 49ers. Coming in, he really liked his chance of having a big year based on a terrific offseason. And runs like that on opening weekend show that he's right. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. There's Garoppolo on first and ten. Finding Harris over the middle. And he will be out of bounds. A good yardage there. And he'll get a second to catch his breath as it leads us right into the two-minute warning. So a challenge coming down from the booth, and that's where these challenges come from, of course, in the final two minutes of the half. Yeah, now we're going to New York, right? That's command central for the officials. They'll talk, they'll take a look at it, communicate with the referee at the game site, and issue a final decision because they do have the final call now. He'll take a shot for the end zone. That'll be caught by Ayuk. Touchdown for yeah, and I'm on this. And I'm on Brandon Ayuk, 40 yards. And the 49ers are within an extra point of tying this thing up. And oh, he missed it. No good. And they'll remain down by a point. Robbie Gold to kick off for San Francisco. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. Now this will make it into the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. The Cardinals take over first and 10. At their own ready to go with their next drive and at the line the cardinal offense and they split the uprights last time for three they've got the lead they're not going to play this conservative they're, they're not hoping for another field goal they're hoping for a touchdown i'm with you on that one i like where your head is i like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right try to sit on the lead and play that way that doesn't work too well for most teams run your offense run what you do best exactly put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way and the best way to do it Touchdowns. On play action, Allen. This is Chase Claypool on the receiving end. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. At the 34-yard line. From the 34 now, here's first and 10.
And they'll run on the inside handoff. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. The ball carrier. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. A gain of five brings up second and five at the 39-yard line. From the 39, Allen. He'll air this one out for Kirk. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. Christian Kirk, the man he was looking for. And it's third and five. Third. Absolutely no disguise on that one. They just went for it. Put him out there and said, go deep. Let's try and hit him. Unfortunately, to no avail. Throwing now is Allen. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. On fourth down, here's Matt Bosher on the punt. Back deep, Deontay Harris. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. You've got less than 30 seconds left here in the half. You're well on your own side of the field. What are we doing here, Coach Davis? Well, I'm trying something on first down. And it's something that's safe. It's something that's been done many times before. A lot of people say it's not even worth trying, but I'm running a draw. I'm running a screen. I'm seeing if something pops. And if it does that can alter my strategy and potentially get me some points and if it doesn't work well then you just run the clock out and go to the locker room throwing again on second down garoppolo the cards get to him here he's brought down for a sack now a timeout seven seconds left in the first half it's third down Third and well, that last sack it puts Garoppolo and the 49ers in a tough spot. They face a third and long. Six, six. To throw is Garoppolo. And this will be incomplete. One second left to go. For George Kittle. Incomplete. It's fourth down. Here comes the 49ers punter now, as he's on to kick it away. Now he's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Here's Austin. So we reach halftime here in Glendale with the Cardinals on top. As now we send you out to Orlando and hook back up with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And the half will begin with a touchback. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you turn that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies. Try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. Let's we'll see if they do just that. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. To throw, it's Allen. Now he lets it go deep for Kirk. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. This has certainly been a physical game so far. Limited scoring opportunities for both sides. And there's another chance that goes unfulfilled. 
So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Operating from the gun, Allen. It got his man complete. Woo gain on third down, good for 28. You know I'm going to lean towards the defender, right? You know I'm going to do that. That's a tough situation for him as I see it. But the truth of the matter is, that ball was not streaking towards him. That little arc on it, he's got to find a way to get his head around and make a play on the football. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 46. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. 12 more yards there and another first down. He's making quite a splash here in his NFL debut. Well, he was advertised as being NFL ready, and both you and I tend to arch an eyebrow a little bit when we first hear that. But I think that they were right about this one. Right back to him on first down. Down to the 30 after a gain of three. That's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Throwing quickly, this is caught by Kirk. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense get a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. Now a first and 10 at the 11. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Reed. And he'll take this one inside the 10 down to the 8. A gain of three, second down. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game. And while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take them in short, steady bursts. The ball on the eight still could get a first down technically, second and seven. Allen gonna throw. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cardinals. Dawson Knox there to make the grab. And the Cardinals will extend their lead. You got to figure down by the goal line. This is where a tight end earns his money in the high traffic area. And he's able to work free in the middle of the end zone and grabs that one for a touchdown. Good. Extra point from McManus is good. And the lead is up to eight. 49ers nine. Brandon McManus set to kick off. After the touchdown, ah. here's McManus now to kick it away. Taken in the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Niners take over first and 10 at their own 23-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned 
because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. From the 25 on second down, Garoppolo. This one uh, in the hands of Kittle, the tight end. No. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. A gain of 13. It's a first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now Garoppolo on the screen. This is Coleman. Yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. You know, despite the score line, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. From the gun, it's a handoff to Coleman. Passar algum momento. E vou A gain of 10 and a 49er first down. It's so in the Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 43. They'll let this go for the end zone. And this one is incomplete. Brandon Ayuk, the one he was looking for. And that'll bring up second down. Well, you got to think that sooner or later, they're going to hit one of those, but the coverage has been excellent thus far, and it was again on the last play. On second down, it's Coleman, and he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. He's Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third and down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Throwing is Garoppolo on third down. Got it. Man, it's caught inside the 10. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. This is Coleman. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop him right around the one. And they give him five that time as they draw a bit closer here for a second and goal. Brings up second and goal. Second and goal from the one. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. That'll be caught by Ayuk. Touchdown, 49ers. Brandon Ayuk. Already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the 49ers move back within a couple of the lead. Now Garoppolo and the Niners will come up and go for two. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. And unable to connect. They don't get the two-point conversion here. They made the decision to go for two. They didn't get it. They remained down by two points. Should they have kicked it there? A third quarter, I'm okay with it. Maybe first or second, you don't. I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, I'm, I'm again, I keep coming back to... I don't like to chase a lot of points, yeah. but I also don't know what kicking an extra point being down one does for me. 25-yard line. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. That last drive, where's a good mix? Run, pass, run, pass. Defense on their toes. 
And what really helps out in a big way is when you're doing the run pass mix and everything's working, that means that they're guessing wrong every time on defense. They think you're going to pass when you run and vice versa. I would continue that. And when they finally draw a beat on you, maybe you mix it up a little bit, a little play action and throw the ball. And will they maintain that balance? Time to find out. They'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Now a handoff here to his running back. The ball given five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Another good run for him. What else is new? That'll put him right at 150 yards for the game. So he's really made his presence felt in this one. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Ah. Oh, yeah. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Hmm. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Reed. And he's going to have this pretty close to a first down. Eh, la scongelata, amore, per noi sì. Minus 37. Seven yards there and a first down. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, no. he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. It's Reed, and he'll have a gain of three to the 33. He's taken and a tackle there by Quan Alexander. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. On second down now, it's Reed. And for one of the first times all night, he is going to go nowhere as they bury him behind the line. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. The Cardinals on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and eight. From the gun, Allen. Out to the left here to Reed. Oh no! No, it was a ball. And now this is scooped up by the 49ers. Defenders giving chase, but I don't think they're going to get there. And he will bring this one back. It's a fumble return for the 49er touchdown. Touchdown, San Francisco. So a big turn of events there. This defense makes the play. They return it for the score, Ooh. and now they have the lead. So much for ball security for the offense. Playing with a lead in the second half. They give the ball up, and Ooh. all of a sudden they're behind. Big time fumble. A great Monday night to wrap up the week in football. Two division rivals and a great finish ahead as we come up on first and ten. Now 
Here's Allen following the fumble recovery. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. That gain of 15 gets him on the doorstep, first and goal. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. He'll get six on the ground there, and it'll be second and goal coming up. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run, got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Saw through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. Second and goal from inside the five. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Reed, and he is in for six. Touchdown, Cardinals. Lì mi ha detto culo, 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 e ancora culo. With his second touchdown in his NFL debut, and the Cards use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. And that makes it a nine-point game. Eh, sta rosicando. Ma giustamente, cioè, se fosse capitato a me, avrei fatto la stessa cosa. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. He'll fire this deep for Ayuk. Oh, and a bad throw there. It's intercepted. Picked up by Christian Fulton. And he's able to get it back to the 41-yard line. Partner, we always talk about possessions being at a premium in these games, and now in this situation, throwing an interception here when you have to claw your way back in, that one's going to hurt, and in a big way. On first down, Reed, and he'll push this forward only to about the 42-yard line. The tackle by Eric Armstead. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. Che amore? La schiena? Schiena? On third down, it's Reed. He's got a first down and then some inside the 40. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. He's able to rip off 32 on that one. It's a first down. Brandon, when a defense just simply can't get off the field on third down, and we all know how important that down is for both sides of the ball, you often feel like you're just a step behind whatever they're doing offensively. And one of the differences in this game, no doubt, third down conversion, and that is going to be a story they'll talk about after this one. So a big play as it gets them all the way down to the 20 now for first and 10.
They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. This will be a five-yard pickup as they move it from the 20 to the 15. Five yards is the. No, una parte quest'anno e un'altra parte l'anno dopo. Non tutte insieme. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. The Cardinals on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and eight. That'll leave him with two remaining. We'll be back after this. The Cardinals on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and eight. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. A good gain there on third and eight of seven yards. And now a decision here on fourth and one. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Cardinals, they've got the football here as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Reed, and he will have the first down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. That one a backbreaker as they wind up converting there on fourth. Defense still with three timeouts. We'll see if they want to use them here as the kneel down comes. Well, they've had success on the ground on this drive, and that makes a defense more likely to overcommit to stop the run as they did on that play. But keep in mind, it makes them susceptible to play action passes as well. of revenge there he's had his way in this one but this time they get him behind the line I think it might be time to move to a different section of the playbook there because back-to-back -back runs both for loss now they have third and long coming up a big play if you think about it right now in this season opener it's third and goal Keep it on the ground. Three. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. Now the Niners going to signal for their third and final timeout as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. 
a 25-yard attempt. The kick by McManus is good. And that will give them a 12-point lead. So they settle for just the three. But clearly right now, anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off. But it's still eight up time, got points. So was not missing. Adesso devo lavorare molto bene, ma la partita è finita. Molto bene. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling. Because a one play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action? I think maybe you go play action. And this is intercepted. And that should do it. Buda Baker with a pick. And he'll return this ball across midfield field to the 47 yard line obviously disappointing but you had to go for broke here down two scores so that forced you to make some throws you definitely wouldn't want to make but i think this interception is going to pretty much write an end to this one 